Hi, I'm Selena. I'm Kayla. And I'm Shade, and we are Fave, Fave 3. Three. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Raw. We'll be filling you guys in on some raw, uncut shit. It's lit. It's Especially <laughs> for New Year's. Woo! Woo! Happy, happy New Year's to happy all New of you Year guys. Happy New Year's to everyone. Happy New Year's to you too, my little babies. I love you guys. <laughs> Um, 2016, yeah, it's here, whatever. But for a start, New Year's so far has been great. We got to bring it in because Kaylee over here was she, gone. She was Ooh. back from Jamaica. She went to Jamaica mm-hmm. and she ended up surprising us because she got back home literally On hours the day of New Year's mm-hmm. before we came we, in with the perfect timing. Right, Facts. Right as we were getting ready to go out and right as we were getting our makeup done, she texted us and was like, guess who's home? So we started our New Year's off great. And you guys, you want to elaborate on what we did? First, I want to say Happy New Year's to everyone again. And I'm so happy we got to bring it in with each other. Same. We was lit this New Year's, we y'all. So lit. What do we do? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yes, we had a really wonderful time bringing the New Year with each other. We actually were invited to a private party um, for Drake. We also was there, and then the next day it was Diddy's party. We it was got lit. invited to, uh-huh. yeah. and it was a wonderful experience. And how'd you guys feel about it? y'all? Was lit. We was lit together. Yeah, it was really nice. It? I feel like it was probably well planned mm-hmm. well that, at least that's how it looked if decorated not, nicely too yeah like if he really did that shit last minute he really kudos came to you facts because it looked did it, really boy. nice and it was in his backyard I'm guessing the house mm-hmm. was freaking gorgeous like so just pretty, beautiful so big everybody was out there like a whole bunch of celebrities it was crazy just like, like little, little minions party. yeah it was a whole bunch of them so it was nice to see everyone definitely everyone looked so nicely so dressed like they're classy. ready to bring in the new year so that was good the music was good the people were good food was the great food was good mm-hmm. the food was busting so it was just a great vibe over, overall just everything a, mm-hmm. it's like everyone was getting yeah. along and it's like you almost forgot that you were in a room full of celebs mm-hmm. like it was crazy Facts. but we had a good time we yeah. danced like we literally like the party the sun started coming up and we were still mm-hmm. on the Diddy's dance parties floor usually, like literally stopped at 9 yeah. in the morning like, for they, future references if you guys ever get the chance to go to one you should definitely yeah. slide because it was Facts. one of the uh, I think the best place is to be New Year's. Literally. Facts. And it was also a good way to bring in the New Year because you mm-hmm. know how they say like, you know, based off of like how your year is going to go, certain things that you do, like it was a great, great way to bring in the yeah, New Year. Yeah, you definitely always want to start the New Year in a positive way, of course, and not, you know, have a bad start off. Or trash. Like some yeah, people, cause... I mean, you know, like not anything bad, but you know, some people started off not too well or not too, it but doesn't I mean, really base time, your year, yeah, but you know. It's not that big of a deal if you don't start your new year off good because maybe you had like a bad ending of 2015 and then you're coming into 2016 bad. Doesn't mean you still can't get on your yeah, feet. Yeah, you can always get back on your you know, feet. Redeem true. yourself. It's just most people just really feel like, you know, I'm trying to go into this year good so I can end it good. Right. But yeah. It's facts. But we also, the next day, which was actually the day of New Year's, we went to this party called Ball Drop. Ooh. Shout out to you guys. New Era, era promotion. Era. Right. Ball Drop 2K16. It was a lot Three of people. Link up. It was a great turnout. Definitely. Great and turnout. we had a good time. Mm-hmm. It was hot, but it was worth it because you know yeah. it's lit. Yeah, you know, was everybody hot. was there supporting, yeah. you know, New Era and just having a great, wonderful time on New Year's Day. And regardless, we're probably going to be at the next New Era party because we love those boys <laughs> and their party so shout out to but y'all before we get into the new year because 2016 has so much in store there's so many things to do really quick guys what is or were your best and worst moments of 2015 Go ahead, Lily. my worst moment of 2015 this is selena this is lily speaking y'all just to clarify <laughs> it's queen you know, lily cupcake <laughs> but um my worst moment hmm I think it was when I was talking to this one person, and we were cool, our vibes was great and everything, but then we talked for like maybe four or five months, and then, you know, it was time, you know, to get it in, and and it was just horrible. No (laughs) It's like, I've only pretty much got it in with like two people my whole life, and yeah, it was trash. Trash. That must Mm -hmm. suck. It I was, mean, you yeah, win some, you lose some. You take an L, you move on. Everybody Everybody's been L. through it. Yeah, I feel like that definitely, definitely. Just so, And I'm putting this, like, this freaking limit, like, broad as hell. I feel like it has to happen at least once in everyone's life. For real. But I feel like it definitely happens way more than once in everybody's mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I mean, you can overcome it. It's it's, yeah, it's trash. It's just one of those things you can't done, take back. Like, bro, for real. Did this yeah. really like, just happen, bro? Really I could have not do that did this. Yeah, like, like, like when you're done and you're laying down the bed, like, what's going through your mind? Like, but is naked. this never going to happen again? But I talked to this nigga now. So, like, like what, what, like, what do I do? I'm not going to stop talking because of sex, but you could, you know, sleep better. But you 
because then every other time after that, you're going to be dead disappointed. Like, and dead sad. And that's yeah. how that's going to make you, you cheat. You deserve to be happy. I okay? do. You so if you're out there, <clears throat> Chris Brown, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but what well, was your best moment? My best moment? Hopefully it wasn't bad. Sex. It was actually going through all of the experience we went through together. Like with Facts. Phase 3. Like, that's that's crazy. definitely one of mine too. Same. Mm-hmm. Like everything that we did, sound cliche or not, we are obsessed with each other. And every moment we have together, it's so much fun. Like I don't regret nothing. Like Completely. even if we had like those moments where it's like, okay, fuck, yeah, we like took those we L's. Yeah, a bad time. Mm-hmm, or like a bad time. so many L's. Facts. But we learned from them. Cool. And I'm happy that I got to go through it with these girls that's right next to me. Love you. 2016 brings you great stuff. Of course. And you, Shade? Oh, I was going to ask nah, you. Nah, why don't we go this way? Back. <laughs> Back. I that last time. Uh, that's okay. Um, hmm. It's, it's always hard for me because I don't like to get mad and I don't like to Facts. get disappointed and stuff, so I don't really ever have bad moments. But I would probably say what? The worst moment for me is probably, it's, it's kind of recent in a sense, I mean, like, I'm having issues with my car. I'm, I had issues with my job. I had, like, all these problems that was going on. It was literally, like, a domino effect. Like, all these things were just happening back to back to back to back. And it's just like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do? You know, it's part of growing mm-hmm. up. It's a, it's, an, it's a situation that you have to deal with. But everything happens for a reason, like Kayla says. And God got me all the time, so I know I'm going to be fine. And it just worked out now because now that I'm going into the new year, like, every situation has a, a bonus kind of mm-hmm. now. So I'm getting back on track with that. But every minor setback, there's always yeah, a major there's comeback. Yeah, there's a major comeback. But I feel like that's probably, like, the worst thing because my year has been great. Like, yeah, same. I genuinely love 2015 as a year. Like, everybody's like, oh, I'm so glad that it's over. Nah, like, to yeah, me. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like this yeah, year. Yeah, like, like this to year. me, this year was actually really long. And I did a lot of stuff, and I, like, met a lot of people and did a lot of different shit. But I... Let me say that back, because that is not right. But, you know, like, I, you do a lot of things this year, and I just had an overall, like, a really good year. I would say, like, the best moments for me probably was definitely New Year's, but that goes into 2016. Definitely, definitely the bond that I have with Kayla and Selena, because I love them so much. And pretty much we all, I feel, are going to have the same best moment, but it's just... Because we spent them together. It's yeah, facts. All like, of our every best moments were together. Moment that I spend with them, and, like, it, it sounds weird, but all of the shit that we've accomplished that we didn't accomplish You're or that like we didn't have... talking like you just came out of a Publix cake, nigga. Like, <laughs> me? crazy oh, right now. now. Yeah. Like a cake sweet? with me. So sweet. I mean, it's facts. Don't know, ask me I'm the question. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I just feel like everything that we that we prog- that the progress that we've made mm-hmm. is our progression has my definitely best. Yeah. Got up there. Yeah. And just, you know, being alive, having family. Yes. Thank et cetera, God. et cetera. Thank yeah, I was gonna Jesus. say yeah. definitely being with family and having God on our side is definitely mm-hmm. one All of the, the best time. moments. Mm-hmm. Because there's been moments in 2015 where we there's car accidents, there's possibly like fights that we've encountered not encountered but like seen that could have mm-hmm. gone wrong so we're yeah. definitely very thankful for that so that saying that reminds me because like if you guys follow me on snapchat at kayla kills if you don't i always ask like my snapchat followers if they have any ideas of what we should talk about on the podcast and i was just letting them know that we we're gonna be talking about our best and worst and one of them were just telling me that they like lost two really close people in their life this year so i was like dang i really thought about it and they like hit home because i was like Thank God I didn't, but you mm-hmm. know someone else did, and I, if I did, I probably would never had such a good year. So exactly, you know, that think definitely that goes along with it. But what's your best? What's and your worst, best moment, Kaylee? Okay, and worst moment. I got all of these mapped out. <laughs> okay, which one do you guys think I should go first? My worst. best or my worst? Worst. The worst. Okay, so my worst. I'm gonna start off with my birthday because oh my god, yeah, it was, yeah, it was like it birthday. deserves to be on this list and right where it belongs. Number one because <laughs> my birthday's in January, so I started the year off with this shit, which was trash, and it ended trash. So trash. I took so much time to plan it, and it still was trash. And, and I was like, right. So Right, okay. and my outfit, outfit was, was cute. so cute. You and we was hate all lit. My outfit is cute and bad. Night. But long story short, tell you guys a short little story on that. I had like this party for my birthday at a club, and everybody was really stressing me out about getting in. And then even after getting in, getting into VIP, so I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm mad. It's my birthday. I'm trying to have a good time. Let me be lit. <laughs> right. Let me Let be me fucking be lit. And lit. Fuck right. <laughs> so it was my birthday. So they had like a little section and some bottles for me. So I had my own bottle of henny, and I literally a opened bottle, that y'all. shit and finished the whole <laughs> thing by myself, no chaser. Like in the course of like 30 minutes. I need you guys to so, understand. She's not yeah. fucking off. She, I'm not like, even. The bottle lying. was yeah. done. So at the end, mm-hmm. I was just like dead fried. 
and we're, we're not gonna talk about that. The rest happened because nah, let's just say it, it was happen. horrible. <laughs> it, it really could have been a movie, like, but a bad movie. But so. your friends was there, and my, that's why I really realized, bro. Like, Aww, my friends a really now. got me. <laughs> I'm a rot nigga, I'm not a cupcake. But no, it's just crazy, like. My friends are the friends that you want to be around, like, just any day. Not, not, I'm not Aww. even going to pick a day, but any day. So that was one thing. Another situation was just, like, um, I had, like, this situation with school. I had to take a semester off. And that's not that bad, but it was I was mad because it set me back. So that's one thing. Um, mm-hmm. Scholar. Yes. I had surgery this year. So Damn, that, you got a list? Yeah, I can even think of one I thing. I was over here. Mm-hmm. But I'm not mad because my good always is bad, so I got to thank God for that. But anyways, mm-hmm. yeah, I had surgery. You guys know I was sad as hell and I had surgery. Long- mm-hmm. You did not yeah. want to do it. Mm-hmm. I had an appendectomy, which means take your appendix out, so blah, blah. And then I was in a situation where, just like Selena, I was talking to somebody and it ended bad. But the sex wasn't bad. It just was a bad situation. Was, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm not going to get into that. So now, we not. my worst, <laughs> my best moments were um like the podcast, because we did start the podcast in 2015. Oh, we so did. Yeah, and I love the podcast. Shout out to 2K Live for inviting Facts. us. Um, being cool able party to coming go up. Back, <laughs> being able to go back to Jamaica, spend time with my family, grandma, <laughs> and like Selena Shade said, all the experiences that we had, because those are literally priceless. Hey, men. I great. love it. That's great. I love being like, you know, starting off the new year great with mm-hmm. your homies. And yeah. And I love all the networking we did. Yes. Facts. We did a lot. But also, you know how people always say, oh, new year, new this, new, new me, me, new me, blah, blah. It's also like every year people always say they have resolutions, but it's like, some do people they just really say follow it, them? Say it. Like, mm-hmm. do they really follow them? Is it bullshit? Do you guys have any resolutions? Yeah, I actually have three, and actually, are, I don't mean to cut you off. No, but before you start, that, how do you guys feel about New Year's resolution? That's a good thing. I was actually talking to someone at work. Shout out to you, Courtney, my dog. Um, he was telling me, I was like, "What are your New Year's resolutions, Courtney?" He was just like, "You know, I don't really have any New Year's resolutions because I don't technically follow them." And some people out there, they always be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna have New Year's resolutions because it's the New Year." It's some Let me people just think do it. Have it. Yeah, like, you have to have one, but ne- you don't necessarily have to at all. Like you can. Go through all your goals and life or whatever through the new year without really having a pinpoint set, or set like, time yeah. and date of, you know, just that. So, but, yeah, my New Year's resolution is what? to stop cursing a lot. Potty mouth. It's cool. I curse a lot, too. I, I curse with lot. everything that I say. I can't fuck even this, make that resolution because I'm not going to do it. Facts. It's like I'm going to force myself. You can try. To. It, yeah. it can happen. At least sum it down a little bit. Um, another resolution that I put myself... Not to cut you off, but they say it takes 30 days to train yourself in, like, in or out of doing something, so just try to do it for, like, 30 days days straight, and and next thing you know, you're gonna not even curse. Facts. And then you really be a cupcake, so so it'll be, like... (laughs) (laughs) Literally a cupcake with so much icing. Okay. (laughs) I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) She's so silly. Okay. Um, my next one is saving money. Because my friends That's are even one, trying yeah. to, like, help me, too. Then but it's just hard. You need to get hard. that, like, on your forehead. It's tatted, money. save money. Because all I want to do is just spend money on, like, stuff that I don't necessarily need. And then whenever you do, you say you need it. And you yeah. don't ever need it. You like, want no, it. You're you know, doing you different between need and a want. It. Yeah, I feel like I need everything. Like, if it's a pencil, I need it. I want it. And, and the thing is, I have to start. If it's fucking green. <laughs> Facts. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. But, um... Even candy too. I need to stop eating no, candy. No, you need to put that on your resolution list. If you don't put, put it on, on yours, it's gonna be on mine. Oh, you can put it on yours for too. For me to get, you need to stop eating. I need all of you guys. I don't mean <laughs> to cut you off. I need all of you guys no, to understand. Fine. Selena's teeth are going to fall out. She uh-uh. eats candy so Every much. Shout out to like, y'all who have a nice smile. <laughs> one of them. Like all your teeth are gonna fall out. But continue. No, no, no. But I'm, I'm gonna definitely put like a standpoint on that too. Like, slow down on the candy. And then my next one, I talk shit about everybody. Not like, oh! fe- not like shit like oh! that. But you know what I mean. You be cracking people, like cracking on people and roasting on people. Wherever I, don't know I go, what you mean, pal. that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> so stop talking shit. Just know, stop talking yeah. like shit about like with everything. Like I'll be like, oh, his hairline messed up. Why oh, do you say and that? No, and or, y'all don't sit out here shot because everybody does it. Everybody does it, and it's like one thing that I do a lot, and it'll, I'll be seasoned too. Like I'll do and it on my yeah, breath, but it's, it's just good. like something I feel like I don't need to it's do. Good that you can admit that because mm-hmm. some people can't First admit that. Admitting. Some people cannot Facts. come to the fact that they're always running their fucking mouth. Not saying that you do, no, Selena. Yeah. Just saying, and I am a around you all the time and I can honestly say that what you consider talking shit is not what everyone else listening is considered like Selena like we call her a cupcake for a reason <laughs> like she thinks it's something like way less but 
it's, at least she can admit it to start moving forward mm-hmm. to dap me up Thank because you, you out there. Job. Yeah, because I be talking, like, it's not like I talk shit about people. It's just like I'll be cracking on them. I'll just yeah. say something, like, just to mess with them. They have, they could be the prettiest yeah. That's person. That's your personality, the personality too, because yeah. you love to joke I'm around. I'm a joker, with it, so. But I think. Those are my three resolutions, Kaylee. Kaylee? Ah, ha, ha. (laughs) Okay, so my three is, number one, this is my biggest, biggest, biggest thing about myself that I really have been trying to, like, get on a leash since I've realized this about myself. And it really annoys me, and I try every day I wake up to stop procrastinating. And that is just, like, with everything. Like, I'm the type of person to get a ticket January 4th and not pay it until March 4th. Like, for reminding And then me. I'll have two late fees and everything, and then I'm going to be the one looking like, dang, y'all had to do me like that? Yes, because mm-hmm. you took two months to pay your ticket. So that's number one, stop procrastinating. My second one is just really to just get the do- to, sorry the job done because I have a tendency to not finish things when I start. So Steph, that's my second start one. what you finish. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I usually, I only finish them if they're important. Like, if it's a necessity, like, you know, an assignment. If it has to be done right then and there. I would never think that. Like, I envision you guys as perfect people. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like you guys don't have people anything. People tell me that, that all the fix. time I look so organized when I'm out on you the road. Do. I'm so well you put together. Well. I mm-hmm. do, and thank you, and thank y'all who say that to me, but bitch, I'm not. I'm the worst, like, organized person ever. Like, just worse. And then my third thing is just to, um, be successful in general with all that and have better timing. Stop showing up late. That's a fave three We even bit. showed up late to record this podcast every time. So it's crazy. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Those are my three things. Shade. Shade. <laughs> you mustn't do them things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, my goal, you know what's crazy is I have in my notes, because I write in my notes things I have to do all the time, and I wrote to write down my goals, I mean my resolutions, but I kind of didn't want to write them down because I wanted to have them installed in my mind. But one is to stop making videos smoking on Snapchat. That's good. And I stopped doing that last year, and I started doing it again because we was lit somewhere, and I was like, oh, vacay, and I just started doing it again. <laughs> I just don't think it's cute. And I do it a lot. So that's one. I'm not going to do it anymore. Two is to definitely just not even pay attention to... It sounds weird, but not to pay attention to what other people do. Because, you know, in life, things happen. Like, you know, people do certain things. And it's just like, I'm not. It, I'm just not even going to let things or, like, posts or what people do. Like, if even if it's, like, somebody biting this, somebody doing this, somebody talking shit. Like, I don't even care. Because at the end of the day, I only talk to two people every single day. And if you're not them two, personally, just don't care. So I feel like to not worry. Straight like to, You know, worry less mm-hmm. about what other people are doing. If you want to do that, that's your hustle. You do that shit. We're both trying to do it. That's cool. I'll see you there. Like, you know? So with that, I'm not trying to worry about nobody else and what they got going on. To you definitely go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> to definitely stop cursing. Not stop cursing, just to cut it down because mm-hmm. I curse. Like, bro, I be talking to my mom and I'll just be chilling. I'm just like, yeah, man, the fucking shit. Yikes. And it literally <laughs> would just roll out my mouth and my mom would be like, Vanessa. And I'm just like, look, lady, I'm sorry. Boo. And I'm like, sorry to interrupt, it's but fault. it's crazy because Shada used to tell me to stop cursing in front of her mom. And now it's bro. like, we both do it together. And it's just like, and we don't yikes. even know. We don't even like, keep it at cut all. Cut that shit down, mm-hmm. bro. See? I feel like another thing that I really want to do, just, um, you know, stop being lazy, you know, wake up. Because I sleep in sometimes. Like, you know, wake up. Like, do something productive every single day. Because if I, I can't stay day. home all day because I'll feel like a failure. So definitely do something every single day. Don't waste time. You get one life. I say this all the time. You don't want to waste it doing nonsense. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anything else? Let me see. Just be successful. And, I mean, as goals as, or resolutions, like for Fave 3, just, you know, for us to... Have expand. better time management because oh we're late all the time, like Kayla said. Oh expand on our brand, like network more, go out more, more hostings, more this, more collaborations, et cetera, et cetera. So that Definitely way, collaborations by the, with the podcast ending of as well. the year, 2016 can be our year. Facts. Agreed. You guys have any other fave three resolutions? Um, 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 I was going to say, dude, just like that. But um, I think we should just keep grinding, bro. Like. Whatever whatever we're doing, there's progress being shown, of course. And, I mean, other people are taking notice of that. And mm-hmm. for you, for those people out there as well, if you have a grind out there that you've been wanting to do, put it Just down. do that Just shit, do I say it all the time you as well. Might as well try it because you don't know what will happen. Exactly. Exactly. I was going to, you know, I was thinking just now when I was saying all of that, I was just thinking, you know how people say they have resolutions all the time? Were there ever a resolution that you guys had but you just never did it or you never accomplished it or a resolution that you set your mind to and you actually ended up doing it? Because people don't ever do their resolutions. Yeah, I know exactly well, what you yeah, mean. Yeah, but it's materialistic things for me on my end. But as a real resolution goal, let me think. 
Oh, yeah. I have one. Last year, as in like going into 2015, I gave myself a resolution that I was going to stop belching so loudly. Nah. And I never dead. did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you I guys do can it hear worse. Kayla's burps, like I wish one day you can just burp on the mic so that they can yeah. hear it. Those she'll probably are blow the mic off. Ridiculous. Yeah. It is, I, I went to like my well, well, well. When I was younger, my mom took me to the doctor because like I used to do this burping since I was like in middle school, like mm -hmm. just crazy Jeez. loud. Monster. And then yeah, they just said that it's actually good. Like some people wish that they could burp as loud as I do because the amount of gas that I get out in one burp, like I'm set for the rest of the day. That's so some crazy. Yeah, shit. I'm not. I'm not with the shits. I get it all out in one. <laughs> got time to have that shit keep going on. And I hate when I burp in public. It's my like, eh, I don't care. Oh. Okay, I don't. Well, I have I a New Year's resolution. But I still have to work on it. Yes. So, yeah, that's, that's still, I'll, it's, it's, I'll it's tie it It's simmering down a yeah. little bit. Your burps mm -hmm. have gotten lower. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> um, One of the New Year's resolutions that I've tried to stick to that I'm like, in and out of, I guess, if that counts, um, is trying to stay fit because my weight be fluctuating all the time. It's like I be I can be skinny one time and then like gain weight and then keep that weight for like a good amount of time and then lose it again. So I told myself that I'm actually gonna stick to working out, whether it's walking, drinking more water, no so well, I'm not gonna say not drinking soda. No because candy. No candy is not a part of the diet. <laughs> but, it's the worst part of your diet. Stop it. I'm gonna go to the dentist more often. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, it's just to stay fit. And I'm, I, I feel like I'm going to stay fit this year from last year. You can like do it. Like, when I started last year, it was horrible. Last year, always, like, every time people, not what you said, but, you know, like some people say, oh, I'm not going to do this from last year. I'm not going to do this from last year. You know how people feel, like, with the new year, you start over. So just, like, people always say, I'm going to erase last year like it never happened. For like, how people you? try to erase Why your wholeness. Like, you can't erase shit like that, you know? I mean, you have You can't take it back because people are still going to always remember it no matter what. Or Right. Exactly. But I feel like people always do that in a sense. Like, either, of course, if they move, you know, you want to be in a new environment. Or, like, some people I see, people. like, they'll delete their Instagrams and, like, start over. So, what you're year, saying like is something. people get into situations, shit hit the fan, and then people try to be schemed out and disappear. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Like, well, you guys I mean, don't ever think people try to, like, start the no, new year. No, I'm not. Like, a new everything. Like, new me, new year. Like. I mean, it's for. I mean, it's good for those people who actually stick by it. Like those, there could be those people who are like, okay, I'm gonna start my whole life over, move out, start gain new friends. But then it's like, why would you want to do that? Like, how do how do your friends feel? The people who you left, start over. The people that you left <laughs> to start a new life. How do you think they're gonna feel? You never told them that you're gonna start this new life. Like, yeah, I, don't I know. know what I you wouldn't mean. have. I don't know. But to give them the benefit of, benefit of the doubt, those people who do go MIA and incognito, I feel like if they're looking at looking at it in a positive way, they're probably thinking they want to delete all their social networks to stay away from that and so that, you know, they won't get, like, fall into any of that That's shit. True. Like, I don't want to see no party promotion because I'm not going out. You know, they want to, like, start their whole thing over. Or some people, I feel, probably take themselves away from social media because they were getting too attached to it, you know, mm -hmm. and they feel like... Because I'm not going to lie. That sometimes, yeah, if I don't have my phone or if I'm not with it for a while, I freak out. And, you know, every Same. everybody's phone is like them. There's don't exactly. let me think I lost my phone because then it's a wrap. Like, I'm turning everywhere upside down because I'm finding my phone. And it could really be, like, a big issue to some people, so maybe they feel like that. But then you got the ones who probably, like, go to jail or get pregnant and want to delete everything because I want nobody to know. Uh, it's just like, no. <laughs> they want to start a 2015 right? with a clean yeah, slate. Right? That's their way of erasing stuff. And then like. you also have the people that try to, like, clean up their way and like still be the same like for example we seen somebody on instagram that like deleted all like deleted all their pictures and only had like four and was just like new year fresh start and it's just mm -hmm. like okay. it's like why would you, on their defense it's like okay you want to start off but i hope you keep those pictures and all yeah. that stuff with you as well but i mean that's not that bad if they deleted all no, their stuff bad. yeah they like probably just felt start like over like oh they yeah they just new. literally mean bitch i'm starting over i mean i don't start i necessarily don't feel like deleting pictures yeah, on instagram nah, is really sure. like <laughs> Big, yeah, but it might like, be. Mm -hmm. so maybe they're trying to like do a different image now mm -hmm. or like a different that could something. Be. But you still got to stay true to yourself at the end of the day. So that Facts. is pretty Definitely trippy if you just like depend, like decide on coming back with a brand new. Face. You can't. My yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say like you can't just be somebody and then like look like something else. Like mm -hmm. it's crazy. But definitely. Um, what else do we got? What? On here. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys start the year over? How to start the year over. Yeah, so pretty much my question is, all the bad things that we listed at the beginning when we stated what our best and worst moments were, if you had to take, like, a bite out of your bad moments or maybe just put them in, like, a general thing, 
what would you say you can do best to like make sure that those mistakes don't happen? Like, how can you learn from your mistakes last well, year, this year? Definitely, and it can be definitely. Relate to anything. I feel like it's, it sounds so weird, but I just feel like me as a person now, I'm a lot smarter than I was last year, especially being around you it guys. Does it sound weird? You get smarter every day? Yeah, you get yeah. smarter every day. I, feel like I just feel too. like with certain situations, I'm just like tired of and I just don't care about. So it's like, like I know what? what I like. For example, like bull, well, not boys, that sounds horrible. No, men, say men, it, say it, men. Little I, I feel you on this. Yeah, like with like, men, like with relationships, with people, with other girls, like, which is different situations with different people. It's just like, I, I don't know. Like I'm literally over everything because mm-hmm. I'm I'm so like used to it. I'm just so over it to the point where like hashtag I'm starting over. Hashtag, hashtag over it. Over like it. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> starting I feel like over with it. That, what, the hell? what else? I totally forgot the question, but it's like the I question don't know. was how can you make sure your mistakes don't happen? Yeah, I just seriously. feel like you know just just talking to you guys and talking to God a lot. <laughs> so cute. And just being aware of like all the situations beforehand and like definitely not something that Kayla taught me. Shout out to Kayla. <laughs> is to definitely not always have my hopes up so much because I'm yeah. the type I'm like I live in La La Land and I'm always like, oh no, but you know, this equals this and then this equals that and then afterwards we happen. can do this. La La, La always, Land is not where you live. I like, always <laughs> you live and like candy land or some crazy shit. But it's like right. I always in a perfect world. Put things onto situations and that way not like bad. in the <laughs> event that, that doesn't go through and that's not how it happens, I always end up being let down, you know? So I'm just trying mm-hmm. this new thing where I just go with the flow. I agree. Kind of, sort of. And for me, I felt like last year I didn't really like know who I was in a sense, if that makes sense. I I was still like finding myself like who I wanted to become, like what kind of person I wanted people to view me as. Like this year I know who I am. I know what I like, not this year, but the ending of last year, coming into this year, I figured out who I was and who I wanted to be and I, I'm going to keep going on with it because no matter what, I used to let people talk down on me and just mm-hmm. underestimate me. It's like, no, I'm not going to stand Ooh, up for that. People stay trying to underestimate my dog because she's so nice. Like, I hate you, that no, no, shit. No, 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 no. Don't do that because I'm going to stand <laughs> no, up for no, no, myself. No, no. Like, you know, I just, I don't know. I, I feel like I found myself and I'm going to stick to it, whatever I was doing last year. I'm going to continue with that. And that's just being true to myself and true to my friends. Facts. And family. Facts. Um... My go, I guess. <laughs> You're so cute. It's so my cute. Like, I feel like it's just like segments and questions and questions, mm-hmm. but I love it because, you know, fun. It's, like, you it's know. a little personal insight mm-hmm. that you guys get, but to you. Yeah. So just to make it easier, I'm just going to go off of what I had down for like my bad things just so how I can make those better. Like the surgery thing, I can just try to eat more healthier, make sure I get my three meals in a day in, if not more. Vitamin. Yeah, that's a really big thing. Keep up with school, all that stuff. Have a better birthday. My birthday is coming up, by the way, in three weeks. And I'm January accepting all gifts for the whole month of January. So feel free to ask me my size or anything. You can DM me or anything <laughs> like that. You know, just throwing that out there. And with the guy situation, the men situation, like Shade mentioned, she said that men was one of the things that she could probably do better with next year. And that's not a bad thing because, like, yeah, a man is important your, in your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going to have one or you're going to not have one, and it's going to, like, make a not difference. Not saying we're going to get married now, but yeah. you want to be able to find someone who is going to be there with you for a long time. You're not going to be just jumping from nigga to nigga exactly. when you're, like, 45. But the thing is, like, I don't have any man issues, really. You don't like, need to. Yeah, I like, issues. You know, <laughs> I'm not saying you got <laughs> oh, man issues, honey. Right what we're no talking issues. about, cause my, don't forget what we're talking about. We're talking about how to fix your old ones. Okay. And we're saying, no, we're talking about for future references. Yeah, so I'm talking about my old past <laughs> ones, my old issue. Mm-hmm. But I mean, we know you don't got man issues, honey, because you you way too lit. Mm, you don't got thank none of those. You. But yeah, my situation, it was, I don't really feel like it's anything that I could start over because it really was just, let me tell you guys a story. Really just, I was in a situation talking to somebody. He was like the perfect person, like literally everything. Mm. And he was great. And then it's just like, boom, something happened. And it's just like, I wouldn't, I didn't have to stop talking to him, but it was my own preference. And I still always have the option to go back or not. So maybe if I were, then maybe that could be something no. I could fix this year. Like, you know, not to, or whatever mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. So you can put that as something like to stay on your ground. But it's everything. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my biggest thing I feel for this year to do is like remember old mistakes to not do them do over. Do them next time, exactly. So that's the thing. That's the number one on your trending in 2016 list is to mm-hmm. not make old mistakes. Yeah, learn from your mistakes. Learn Hashtag your mistakes. over it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Facts. But back to what I was just about to say. I know this is like something otherwise, but it has to do with 2016. Lit, lit, lit. Future has two mixtapes that are about to drop. I don't know if they're mixtapes or albums, but one is Monster 2. 
Oh, that's going to be uh -huh. so lit. And I hope Turn On Me is on that one. I'm not sure. And I don't remember the name of the other one, but I know he's dropping two. I know Chief Keef is coming out with one. Mm -hmm. I know Young Thug is coming out. I think it's Barter too. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. okay. I think. That's lit. I know they're coming out with... You were saying something about who earlier. Rihanna. Rihanna's album is being dropped sometime this year, and she is also going on tour, and I'm trying to get us tickets, but it's Yeah, so I love hard. all four of them, so my mind is blown about mm -hmm. everything that you guys just said, because that's Rihanna, Chief Keef, Future, and who's the next person? Young Thug. Young Thug, yeah. I'll yeah. listen to all of them on the day. Those are definitely on our playlist. Yeah, like, those are mm -hmm. definitely top four just gotta listen to. Facts. Facts. But that's the so only that's music exciting. stuff that I heard about. I can't yeah. wait for it. Can't wait for future yeah. shit to drop. All of them, because it's like music is a big and part. And it's something that like, they have to music. continually do every single year. And you know it's going to be lit -er because it's a new year, you mm -hmm. know? So it's more current, it's more up to date, and it's more shit. And I feel like it's artists so look at the new year the same way how we just mapped it out. Like what happened last year, how we can do it better this year. I feel like exactly. they probably look at like to make their... Beats, their videos, everything better. Hopefully, they just don't yeah. try too hard. They're probably gonna drop music that trash. they drop that they didn't drop in like, last year, right? Like five this years year. ago or something. Mm -hmm. Like that's how artists works. It's crazy. Yeah. But do you guys want any? What are some plans that you guys want to do this year? Like that you might have not done last year. I want to travel. I'm definitely, definitely travel. travel. I didn't travel at all. We want to go to Cali. We have to go to Cali. Yeah. And we just have to go everywhere we haven't been. There's a lot. Because mm -hmm. to be honest, we really haven't started. So we have the whole world as crazy as we time have to from travel. T today, January. Fourth. I don't even know what day it is. Yeah. Whatever the day is. Today's the fourth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah today's the fourth. We are gonna start mapping things out and we're gonna start planning so our trips, y'all. Because I, I, I wanna go to Vegas for my twenty first. Me and Shadi's birthday is near each other and yeah, we trying to go to Vegas. Go say, I really wanna go we can't <laughs> go on your twenty first. We have to go on mine because I'm yeah. not twenty one yet. Yeah, I know. I'm that's what I meant. We're gonna do it together. But yeah, I'm so excited for what 2016 has to bring. Yeah, and if you guys don't know what you guys wanna do for the new year, you know there's different ways to start it. You mm. can Make a to-do list. You can travel the world with your friends. You can talk to that guy you've talk always to, been mm -hmm. wanting to talk to. <laughs> Network with different Go people. Do with whatever you. you want. True words. True, yeah. true, <laughs> word. true One word. of the things that I thought about um, that can make your year better, I just thought about this just now, is if you're in a situation where you don't like your job, definitely just get like a Like Shaw job. Shaw, Fact. definitely. Yeah. And it's just only because I feel like nobody really realizes how much hours they spend at their job. So, so if much. you go to work all the time and you're already dreading going to work, wake up in the, waking up in the morning like, fuck, I do not like clocking and crying. I don't want to go fuck. here. I'm wasting right? my time. Got to stay here for eight hours of the up, day. Right? For and every week, mm -hmm. for 52 weeks. And then do it again. <laughs> and you're going to sound like Selena mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Yeah. 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 I don't want to work no more. Yeah, you all see to... my snaps, y'all know mm. I don't want to work no more. Yeah, don't quit your job and be broke now. Facts. Do what you got to do. You got to kiss ass until you can kick it. But Facts. a better work environment will like, make a lot of people happy when you think about it. If Facts. you enjoy, imagine waking up and loving your job. Like, hello. Like, future. That's cr right? And Rihanna. And, oh, that's crazy. Like, hello. How that's you so doing? Do you have any advice, Lily? Well, Tips? I just want you guys to know from Lily's Cupcake Voice here. Um... Just definitely stay positive throughout the whole year. If any negativity comes to you or is it, if it's a, like if you feel it like attached to your shoulder or something, just figure out a way that Harlem will, shake it off. Yeah. Harlem shake that bitch off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was but, a great that was, tip. Mm -hmm, definitely shake it off. Don't even like worry about like Shade was saying, just be over it. Don't really pay attention to what people are saying, what they think. If you have your own thoughts and you want to put it out there, do it. If you feel like somebody's going to make fun of you, who cares? Like, just exactly put your own self on a pedestal of your like you know your own little it's pedestal. It's your world. Mm -hmm. It's your world. Put and yourself you're gonna first. Do what yeah. you want to do you this year. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Popping. And if Fast. there's anyone that you left in 2015 or that you're sour about that you're not on good terms with or you're not friends with, fuck them. They were back on a in good 2015 note, you can... for a reason. Facts. But to be that. positive, if it is a relationship, <laughs> maybe you guys can mend it or get it closure for 2016 so that's me being positive ain't no closure <laughs> yeah. no nah, you can you can just say i ain't fucking with you no more in 2016 and, and call it. it a day where that's Year. what i tell everybody that i don't talk to i'm not gonna bad mouth you or say anything bad i'm just gonna tell you god bless god, god bless. bless god bless because you are here bless. yeah you do your thing from now i'm not gonna hate on you or nothing like that definitely not god gonna bless me same way he gonna bless you so do that. facts so definitely that being said if you happy guys new year you know happy, happy new year, new year. Hope Start you guys great. Mm -hmm. Have a great year. Hope you guys continue to tune in. Hope you guys 
Like our podcast. You don't Attend. skip through them, you know? Nothing like that. Hope you're hearing. Just kidding. But, you know, um, have a great year. Just continue to be safe and be motivated. Keep yourself surrounded around great people because you are who you hang out with. Definitely. And always remember, we'll, we'll give, give it, it to you raw. With Even the, raw this Nah, time. but with the condom because it's a new year. Oh, and yeah, no, and nobody got time on. for babies. <laughs>